Hi and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy of Anti-Money Laundering. So in this video I'm going to talk about the externality of money laundering. But what is an externality? Well, Buchanan and Stoppelbein defined externality in 1962 as a state where the utility of an individual, here individual A, is depending on a range of activities that he has control over. Except it is also depending on another activity that he doesn't control but is under the control of individual B. Those two people, those two individuals, are in the same social group, so whatever B does with this activity will affect individual A. This effect can of course be positive or negative, and that is why we typically talk about positive or negative externalities. A classic example of a negative externality is pollution. That could be by a factory that a person doesn't control and thereby it decreases the air quality, but it could also just be two people walking on the street and one is a smoker and the smoke decreases the air quality for individual A, hence creating a negative externality. So why is this relevant in terms of money laundering? Well, if we look at this at a larger scale in society, we can regard society as one individual, the legal society, and we can say, okay, then we have all the illegal actors as another individual, B. So we have the legal, A, and the illegal sector, B. And then we would say, okay, so could this be a negative externality problem. Does the crime actually affect society in a negative way? And yes, it does. Our society is based on the rule of law and balance and stability because that will create prosperity and security and in the Nordics at least, the social welfare state. When we have crime, crime challenging this, the, it, crime will challenge the stability of our society when it is based on the rule of law. Because crime is the opposite. It is not following the rule of law. So crime will enhance instability and enhance chaos and thereby affect uh, the effectiveness of our society, but also our security and welfare state. Hence, crime is a negative externality to our society and thereby a negative externality problem. But what about money laundering? We know that money laundering is the process that happens after someone earned money on a criminal uh, behavior or criminal business. They need to launder money. So is money laundering per se also an externality problem? Well, yes, it is, because money laundering, when that is successful, it enhances and increases the power of the, uh, of the criminals and the level of crime can increase. And thereby, the risk of further instability in our society increases. Thereby, money laundering is also a part of a negative externality problem to society. It is a big contributor to more criminal behavior, more crime, at least the risk of more instability, and thereby challenging the roots of our society when we base our society on the rule of law. So this was just a short video of externalities and money laundering. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let's talk more about money laundering.